Well, it's time to upgrade our home network panel. And after careful consideration and weighing out the costs versus the benefits, we decided to upgrade What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If you follow our channel, you've definitely seen our home network panel. And this network panel has a lot of cool devices installed in it. But there is one problem with this network panel, is this unmanaged eight port TP-Link switch. And to have a reliable and well-managed network, you need to be able to secure and manage all traffic on all ports. And this TP-Link switch has got to go. <laughs> the number one upgrade you can make if you have an unmanaged switch is upgrade to a layer two PoE managed switch. By making this simple upgrade, it will propel you to the next level of home networking. With this type of switch, you'll have the ability to do some basic home networking management. And that's a great thing. So we're going to install a brand new eight port PoE managed switch. This is a layer two PoE managed switch from a company called Ingenious. And with this switch, we can create VLANs, closed ports, open ports, and monitor traffic. So we're gonna install this, set this up, and then our network should be perfect. And guys, before we start, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notification. So the plan is, we're gonna put this switch right here. I'm gonna move the fiber modem. Obviously we're gonna place this and we're gonna put this right here. And I'll probably put the fiber motor down here and we're gonna either secure it with double-sized sticky tape with a Velcro, you can Velcro it like I did here. See, this is Velcroed, like that. Or I'll use, I believe I also have some zip ties. All right, you can see I added some more Velcro here to make it a little longer so we can loop it around the switch. On this side here, I've got this down here. I'll go ahead and add another Velcro to this end here. All right, so I'm gonna zip tie. I'm not gonna do the Velcro. I think the zip tie is gonna be better. So it's simple. Got holes here already. If you don't have holes, you're gonna have to drill some yourself in your situation if it's something you have to deal with. But if you watch on one of my videos, I did, I drilled holes in here already. So should be good to go. Do this side first. Now I kind of want this at the bottom so it's not so ugly. Like that. Like that. And then this. All right. So I got to do here. Make sure we got this looped around. And we're gonna put the bottom like the other one. Okay, like so the bottom. Yeah, I want to make sure this is pretty straight. And all the cords are out of the way here. There we go. It's not going anywhere now. Make final adjustments before you. You cut. There we go. And be careful not to cut the other cords. There we go. Oh. Once I get the cords in there, it's gonna be all good. Now we have to plug this in right here. I hate these bricks right here. I don't like these, but I understand it keeps this smaller by keeping this separate, but I don't like it. Anyways, enough of my complaining. A huge benefit to upgrading to a layer two PoE managed switch is that you get to learn some network management skills like VLANs, turning on and off ports, link aggregation, and PoE scheduling. Nothing too crazy. And this type of switch will prepare you for when you get your layer three switch. It's kind of like a training ground in network management. And I encourage all of you to make this upgrade. And this switch costs less than $150. Not bad. And I highly recommend that you label all your Ethernet cables like I've got here because this makes it so much easier when we do our port uh, assignments for our VLANs or whatever. Um, and security and all that on here. 
it's good to know which port goes where instead of guessing, you know, so. Last one here. There we go. Woohoo! We're good to go. All right. Very good. All right. Looks like we're going to zip tie the modem to this bracket like this. So. It's not going to go anywhere. There we go. There we go. And all I have to do is, all I got to do with this is just figure it out where I'm going to put this to get it out of the way, all these cords and stuff. Like I said before, make sure you label your wires so you know where they're going. Once you, once you log into this, with your app or on your computer, you can set up all your VLANs, um, turn off the ports, or you can monitor the ports. So, all right, let me get this done. We're almost, almost done with this. Now I'm gonna show you the Ingenious Cloud, where we can manage our switch. We can add VLANs, we can turn ports on and off, and a whole host of other management options. And stay tuned for an upcoming video where I go through all the options of the Ingenious Cloud Management. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I encourage you to get a Layer 2 Managed Switch. It's a huge upgrade for a network, and it's not that expensive. And guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.